short video i got a box of goodies from danny collins from danny collins lithics and leather or danny collins custom leather anyways let's see indirect sticks now these i looked at them already this has some kind of rubber tubing around the copper rods so they go in order let's see like this so let me see what the measurements are what is the diameter okay sounds a half inch three eighths yeah that one's like five sixteenths and a quarter inch quarter inch five sixteenths three eighths and half inch sweet and they're all copper so i get to use copper business card take a snapshot i suppose anyway does this seem like an ad yes it does because anyone who sponsors the the channel gets a mention yeah okay let's see besides it's fun to open up packages especially if they're well packaged although my post office put a number on this yeah that's the, what the bottom looked like I don't know what's wrong with those guys they know it's me whether I move up here to Vermont or I'm in Texas they, they know it's me so that they play uh, catch with the box and drop it a few times before they send it to me yeah what is this Heat treat no vaculite. Oh, it's a big old slab. But I can get little flakes off of this for little arrowheads, right? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Makes me laugh like Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. Nice. Okay. <laughs> what does the letter say i'm gonna read it but you can't see it it's only for me let's see a uh, full set of boppers indirect sticks hand pad where's the boppers oh hand pad all right who is it's got one of those modern slots yeah it's got something in there like a piece of plastic or some kind of hard material that does not bend let me, let me see oh it's not bendable which is excellent yeah it's probably a knife handle material right some kind of composite anyway it looks pretty good yeah i just need to round it up a lot all right dome it i need to dome it what else uh let's see most of most of this is on the website okay uh, it's Kia Cook Root Beer, Georgetown Coral, Alabama Coastal, Novaculite, Flint River. Oh, I got some. Okay, never mind. It's Buffalo River, Mook, Obsidian, and more. Hope you enjoy the goodies. And... All right. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy the goodies. So is everybody else. Hopefully. This is Mook. Yes. Mookite. Beautiful stuff. What did I do with that other piece of, of nomaculite? See, I need I can't put it over here on that side. I gotta put it over there. On my left, that's where all the good stuff is going. For my upcoming videos. Yeah. Yeah, doing this kind of stuff. You know, requests on video is a lot easier than for me to think about what I'm going to do. Yeah. If I have to think about it, I usually don't want to do it. <laughs> All right. We got some obsidian. Yes, yes. I can get... I can get two bifaces out of it. If I try for one biface, I'll get two, right? Yeah. That's how it works. 
I'm excited. Can you tell? What is this? Heat Treat Buffalo River. Nice, nice. It looks yellowish on camera, but down here in real life, it's more orangey. Yeah. All right. What have we here? What do we got? We have an autist trying to open the package. Mm -hmm. He treat Buffalo River. Dang it, that's a huge piece. It's got a little, a little bullseye in it. That's that's awesome. It's heat treat also. Now this is this is heavy. Am I gonna nap all that on video? I'm gonna try to eventually. The answer is yes, but we don't know how long it's gonna take. I still got stuff that's stacked up from years ago that I gotta get through first. It shouldn't take me too long to get through the other stuff that I've stacked up. So I'll mix it in. I'll, I'll, I'll nap the old with the new and get them all mixed in. Heat treated keel cook. How does how do you heat treat something that huge? Holy moly! That 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 requires a kiln. Yeah. I would like to have a kiln someday, someday. Oh yes. There you go. Keel cook. Some people don't like keel cook, but if it's high grade stuff, I don't see anything wrong with it. Low grade keel cook is what causes headaches. This does not look like low grade. No, that's not a low grade. Okay. Low grade, what is low grade keel cook? It's got cracks in it. It's got inconsistencies and voids and weird stuff. Inclusions, I mean, not voids, but inclusions, I think, right? And this is more Novaculite, heat treated. Yeah. Slabs get me worried. The slabs give me anxiety. Let's see. Yeah, it's nice. Naps nicely. Can I use this as a tool? Yeah. But I'm going to try to nap it. All right. So maybe future videos I'll nap the slab. But I don't know. I'd rather just break it down. But I'll try to get a big piece out of it. Yeah. Try to maximize it for the buy face. And then use the flakes for auction points. That's what I'll do. Okay, so what I do is I cut out the label so I know who it's from. All right. Although I do have a letter, so that makes it even easier. But the label has the return address. Yeah. So I can correspond easier. If I lose the email, lose the phone number, lose the chat, lose the Facebook links, if I lose all of that, which I have been known to do in the past, I will communicate by mail. <laughs> the old-fashioned way. All right, so that's there. This is there. Whoever wants a card, you can, I'll give you one. Let's see. Although, um, Danny's info is in my comment section down below. I put comment, I put the uh, rock sellers in a comment, All right? So you, you can look down there and find the rock sellers and the uh, related flintnapping stuff. All right, we got some new boppers. All right. Yeah, I told, I told them that I got, that I used to have little little boppers, but I, they were driving me nuts, so I sold them off. But now I got brand new ones to mess around with. 
Yeah, this is a full set. It looks like they've been, looks like JB Weld or some, some kind of glue. All right. Nice. Let me see. Hold on. I got my scale. I'm going to weigh these. And you thought the video was over. Yeah. It's not over until the autist, the autist remembers everything. Okay, where is this? I need a, a level surface. with a pen so that I'm gonna mark them. All right this one is not marked. Come on now. All right 14.2 14 point2 ounces. That's heavier than my other one. What's my other one that I've been normally using? 9.6. Yeah. That's what I normally use. Let's see what this one is. 8.5. I have a feeling I'm going to be using this one a lot. Now, since these are handmade, they're going to vary. All right, yours might not be exact. Exactly the same. 4.3. Yeah. 2 2.7. 1.9. Okay, so if these weights don't match the website, it's not my fault. Okay, it's the scale or something else is going on. Okay. All right, maybe it's not level. Anyway, they're natural. It's natural material, right, for the handle, so your results may vary. All right, I think that's it. Yeah. Let's check out this obsidian. Sometimes this is very, very exceedingly brittle, and sometimes it's kind of strong so let's see what what variety this is is it very very brittle it looks like it's on the brittle side but hold on yeah it's on the brittle side but it's not too bad yeah it's just the normal brittle the normal brittle Mahogany. It's normal stuff. Yeah. I've I've tested some that, that just shatters. This is not like that. This is okay. This is just normal mahogany obsidian. Yes. Yep. It's normal. The uh, the flake broke in half though, so it's it is Probably snap and halfish. Yeah, like all obsidian of this type. It's the opaque type. It's not translucent, right? Maybe it is a little bit, but usually not. It's usually not translucent. The non translucent types, they can be very snap and halfish. Okay? All right. So I was just curious. I'm going to put it back here on that side. All right. So I think that is it. I'm looking forward to napping that big old piece of keel cook because it'll yield a bunch of little flakes. And I'm gonna I'm gonna make a lot of Kahokia points coming up here. I got some projects. Alright. Alright, that's it.